was complicated. Yes, definitely. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Pretty good. I'm glad to hear. So to start off, uh, can you tell us about your position at Apple and how you got to working at Apple? Yeah, definitely. Um, so my position is a tier one advisor. Um, I work with I iOS. So anything regarding iPad, iPhone, iPod, um, any questions that they, you know, people call into the main Apple Care support line, they could possibly get me. Um, I also do work with, um, if they have a question about Apple ID or iCloud, that also falls under my department as well. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. And yeah. uh, I want to ask you, since you're in the iOS department, how about accessibility training? Uh, like, do they teach you, uh, does Apple train you on accessibility training? Or do you just pop into it when somebody has a question about it? Yeah, so um, we actually have a whole different department that deals with accessibility. So typically, if somebody has a accessibility specific issue, we would reroute them to the accessibility hotline. Um, I, I will definitely admit that since I'm a voiceover user, I've had phone calls where, you know, somebody will have an accessibility question and I'll just do it just because I'm already there. Um, but typically, you know, if, if the average person goes to get my job, they don't get trained on accessibility right away because they have a different phone number, phone line that does. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. And, uh, you say you're, you're a voiceover user yourself, correct? Yeah. So do you have a, a visual disability? Yep. I'm completely blind. Oh, wow. That's cool. How does that, uh, how does that, uh, impact the way you, uh, the way you do your job? Like what tools do you use? Um, I don't really use any, well, um, I use voiceover, obviously. Um, they give us Macs for our jobs. So I use voiceover on the Mac to do my job. And um, I also have a specific, they, they custom made a headset for me. Um, so typically, you know, when you're in a call center environment, you wear, you know, a, a regular headphone um, to hear the caller and to speak to them. So my headphone is designed where I can actually listen to voiceover on one ear and the phone call on the other ear. So it kind of splits where the sound is going so that I can better hear um, my system and the person that I'm talking to. Wow, that's really cool. It is really Apple, cool. Apple definitely takes uh, the extra mile for accessibility in their employees. Definitely. Wow, that's, that's nice. So, uh, so for, for working at Apple, uh, how did you, how, how did you end up getting that position, like your journey to, to being there? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I actually got the position through the NFB. Um, there was a message that was posted to the NFB listserv, um, email list, you know, that they, they send out a bunch of sort of advertisements or like things that are going on. Um, and there was one that was sent out around October maybe. Um, and it was that NFB was partnering with Apple and they were trying to find people who would be willing to relocate. Um, I did have to move for this job, but they were looking for people who'd be willing to relocate and get a job working at Apple. And um, I actually sort of forgot about the job posting for a while. There was some stuff going on in my life. And then I came back to it about a month later and put in my application and it all just kind of happened from there. Wow, that's really cool. I, I didn't know NFB and Apple uh, partnered on some stuff. That's really yeah. cool. And uh, how many years have you been going to the to this convention, to the NFB? This convention, uh, this will be my third year. Wow, that's cool. What's your favorite yeah. things about it so far? Um, well, this is my first time doing the whole virtual thing. But, you know, in general, I think my favorite thing is just meeting new people, um, networking, just sort of like getting to know other people from other parts of the country and in other occupations. Um, I really enjoy the, the different presentations. And of course, I mean, everybody enjoys the exhibit hall. So that's always a good time. Oh yes, definitely. This year's, it feels so different because the exhibit hall is like open Zoom meetings. It's a yeah. little different thing. It is a little different thing. Um, I think the, the most interesting thing for me 
with this year isn't necessarily that, you know, we're not all in person and stuff. I think what's really interesting is how people just kind of come and go. Like yesterday, there was three different workshops all sort of at the same time that I wanted to sort of, you know, participate in. And normally if I was at a regular convention, I would, you know, pick a workshop and sit there because you don't want to be that rude person who leaves in the middle. But with Zoom meetings, people just kind of like go in and out as they please. And that's really interesting to me because I was able to do that and catch bits and pieces of all the different things that I wanted to see. And it didn't feel, I didn't feel as rude, you know, walking out in the middle of a Zoom meeting as I would if I felt, you know, if I was physically walking out in the middle of someone's presentation. That's true. That's a nice uh, advantage that we have now that it's online is being able to go in and out. And also I noticed that you can be a little more productive because you're not walking from one place to the other. You can, you know, talk about productivity. Like I'm actually working, you know, while I'm, while I'm listening to some of these presentations, like I will, I will do my job and have this, this stuff in the background. Um, So, you know, yeah, you can be super productive. You can clean your house. You can, I ordered coffee yesterday and I like met my DoorDash delivery person while I was on the, zoom meeting with the ira exhibit you know you can do all kinds of stuff while you're while you're doing all these things yeah that's a nice advantage for sure it is definitely is and you still i feel like i don't feel like i'm missing out on on networking um i still am getting messages i don't know if it's because i put i'm an apple employee in my profile but i'm getting tons of messages from people you know wanting to meet and wanting to talk and wanting to like ask me questions and, and stuff like that um, so I'm, I'm definitely not lacking in the, the networking and the getting to know new people category either. That's nice. I didn't notice that, that with the app, you can find people. And I feel like in the previous years, they didn't have that. They should probably no. be doing that. I like it. The, I like it a lot. Yeah. Same here. They should do it for the conferences that are face to face as well. So that way there's, uh, more of that. Okay. I want to see who's at the conference. Who can I connect? The only thing is, I feel like if they're going to do it, they need to make it a little bit more streamlined. Um, and the two things I would want to see would be, number one, uh, if I added somebody as a contact, I want to see what, you know, what other things that they were going to, you know, because maybe I'll meet up with a friend, you know, in the same exhibit, or maybe they'll go to something that I won't, you know, necessarily notice in the schedule, and I'll see it on their schedule and go, oh, that looks interesting, and I'll go. Um the other thing is, I would love to see them implement some kind of community, like, I know they have messaging and things, but, like, if you can put in Zoom room links, why can't we just have some kind of calling thing? Like, why couldn't I just hit a button and just voice call you? That's true. That would make Like, it you're a already lot more there simple. in my app. Yeah, it would make things so much easier. Yes, definitely. Well, Thank you for uh, for your time and for having this conversation with you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was very interesting. I like to see the perspectives of others, uh, the conference, and you know what they're doing in their career. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely. I agree. So you said um, you do like a YouTube channel or? Yes, I have a YouTube channel called Blind Power nice. where I talk about oh, cool. technology. I'll have to go subscribe. All right. I'll definitely send you the link once I uh, yeah, have Yeah, definitely do that. Cool. All right. Nice talking to you. You too.